hi guys uh, we're in the mountain resort of Sinaya uh, this is a very famous city resort in Romania uh, it's on Rahova River Valley and it's one of the busiest resorts mountain resorts skiing resorts in Romania it was founded somewhere in the late 1600s 1695 I think and built around a monastery the Sinaya Monastery uh, we are in the Brunkoviano Park which is home to the famous Sinaya Casino which is not actually a casino anymore t these days but yeah we're in the park they built a nice ice skating ring for the winter the temperatures are very very low outside probably around minus three four five degrees which is very normal for a winter day in Sinaya. Uh, the city is home to many famous old buildings. This is the new Sinaya Hotel built in the late 1800s. And it gives you a good idea of what buildings look like in Sinaya. This is mainly the style of the buildings here. One of the interesting things about the city is that it's the first city to have electric lighting all throughout. We are now walking towards the casino. The casino was built again in the late 1800s. Uh, one of the shareholders is the Baron de Marseille, which is shareholder to the Monaco casino as well. So this was a very big deal back in the days. Uh, at the opening of the casino, the famous George Enescu played music. Uh, it was used as a casino up until the First World War. And then between the First World War and the Second World War, uh, it stood out and became a tourist attraction. Now, after the communists took over, gambling was prohibited, so it stopped functioning as a casino and became uh, an international conference hall. You can already see the shape of it as we're growing closer to it. Yeah, so back in the communist days, gambling was not allowed which was not necessarily a bad thing if you ask me so today it's called a casino but it's actually a conference hall the architecture is impressive as you can see and it's one of the landmarks to visit if you ever come to Sinaya, Romania. This is the entrance. Very majestic. Very impressive. Very big. Today 
we've come to visit it. I'm with my boyfriend and my dog Bruno. And we thought we would take advantage of the nice weather, but this was in the city where we're from. <laughs> it was about seven degrees there and very sunny, but Sina is clouded and cold today. We're not going to go inside now because there's restrictions in place because of the whole thing going on. But this is what it looks like outside. You can see the fountain there. Um, it's turned on during the summer but right now because it's minus degrees outside the water would freeze and damage the fountain so they stopped it altogether. To the left of the casino what you'd normally see is a big 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 mountain but because it's so clouded and foggy today it's like it's nothing there. So we're leaving the casino now and just walking randomly on the streets and as you can see architecture is the same, buildings are very old style, very impressive, very big, majestic with great attention to detail just like they built in the old days. The city itself is quite nice for a long walk as well because anywhere you look you'll find impressive buildings like this. here at least once a month but every time we come we still find it interesting still find new things that we'd not noticed before and impress us all together It's winter, you can see the terraces outside, the beer gardens. It's normally more crowded than this, but today is a Monday, a Monday morning, so not many tourists around. Another nice looking building, same style. Everywhere you go, you'll have signs like this one. For example, this one telling us it's in the memory of grandparents which built this house and left it to the nephews. The nephews are grateful, the grandparents leaving it to them. As we get closer to the town center, many pubs and restaurants start to appear. Uh, this area of the town is very popular. And most of the tourists when in Sinaya come around this area to eat. Now, again, restrictions are in place. In Romania, you're not allowed to enter a restaurant unless you've got the green pass which is one of the reasons why Sinaya looks deserted today uh, another important landmark 
in the town, which again we can't visit today, is the Pelish Castle. Uh, the Pelish Castle used to be the royal residency for the summer. Built in the late, in, late 1800s, beginning of the 1900s. It was the first castle in the world to be lit electrically and it's the first one to also have central heating which is nothing like we've got it today but again they did have central heating in the late 1800s it was built by Karol the first king of Romania uh, it's an impressive building, same style as the other buildings in Sinaya. Uh, it's large, it's got 170 rooms. And sadly, we, ca we can't visit the castle during these weird times we're living. So, I made this vlog to show you the nice things in, about Sinaya and about Romania. Sadly, uh, we're walking around town centre and there's only one public toilet in the city. And we just found out it's out of order so imagine a city with 10,000 people living in it and the population probably goes 10 times up in the winter season only one public toilet and it's out of order obviously because of the epidemic situation we're in you can't go inside restaurants if you don't have the green pass. So this means that people who don't have a green pass are not allowed <laughs> to go to the toilet anywhere in the city. Shameful, this is the way the government manages <laughs> mountain resorts in Romania. Shame because Again, it's very popular. Lots of people come here to visit, but then things could be run more efficiently. Like I said, this is the town center. The toilet is somewhere over there. And it's out of order so unless you've got the green pass in Sinaya you're not allowed to go to the loo yeah toilet and the sign there says it's out of order nice not nice Moving on from the poor management of the government, again, nice looking buildings. This is the Montana Hotel, which is under renovation again. Many hotels in the country because the uncertainty of tomorrow decided to close and just do any work that they needed done during this period, taking advantage of the fact that tourists can't come to visit and stay in their hotels. So a lot of buildings are under refurbishment. But you can still see the architecture style and all the filling of the town. Uh, 
Sinaya was funded somewhere in the late 1600s and the uh, city is built around the Sinaya Monastery named after the famous St. Catherine Monastery in Mount Sinai in Egypt so to the name of the mountain they named it Sinaya and then after the monastery was built they built a city with the same name around it one of the abandoned beauties of the city again with the same style attention to detail character this one's actually got the year it was built on it so you can see that it's 1881 which was very fashionable at the time they actually put the year of construction above the entrance of the buildings so that we know today like I said anywhere you go anywhere you look left or right you can see the old architecture we've got tourist panels these are the main ski slopes. Um, the Bocej Mountains, which is directly opposite, but we still can't see because of the clouds, raise up to the 2,000 meters up. And we've got uh, many slopes between the thousand meters and 1400 meters and then we've got a few more from 1400s to 4 to 1000 meters and this map shows you the trails paths in the mountains and gives you information as shown here for the difficulty of the trails as well as time necessary to take them the panels are located just next to the city hall which is again a beautiful old building renovated and made to suit for City Hall. It's now decorated for the holidays because this is the 15th of January so Romanians are not very keen on giving up <laughs> the holidays just yet. And one interesting fact that I found is just outside the City Hall there's an English phone book, phone booth, sorry, very English of us. Like other old buildings, this one's left unused. The yard is used as a car park at the moment, but because it's an impressive building, we find a panel here telling us whose house it was, who built it. It was built in the 1700s. And it's such a shame that's being left uninhabited. because 
people are not allowed to enter restaurants, some of them found the ingenious ways of functioning. <laughs> These igloos are heated and people are allowed to go in. There's only one table in each igloo and yeah, you can dine outside when entering the restaurant is not allowed. This way they are protecting their businesses trying to survive this pandemic which kills more businesses than people. So yeah, people are struggling, business owners are struggling and doing everything they can to overcome this situation. Walking out of the core of the town centre we found this old beauty. Now I'm sure it needs some refurbishment, probably a lot of money to do it, but it's not often that you find buildings like this up for sale. So hopefully it's going to enter the hands of somebody who will appreciate it for what it was and restore it to her former glory. Since I told you about the Sinaya Monastery that the city was built around, we decided to make the trip here and show you the monastery as well. It's a very short drive away from the town centre, maybe about two or three minutes by car. Uh, as you can see, the architecture is a lot simpler than most of the buildings in the city. Because let's not forget, this is a monastery. The church is very traditional for the style they're built in and the menu. This is a tower, it's a secure monastery. As you can see, it's got the brick stone wall all around it. They were used in time of war as a safe refuge so we're just entering the yard now it doesn't cost to enter the car park is free as well with a time limit of two hours uh, I don't know if we're gonna be allowed in because again the restrictions are in place but By the looks of it, I think these are the nuns' chambers. There's no on the ground, so we need to be very careful where we step. This is the church, like I said, very, very traditional, just like most churches look like in Romania, Orthodox churches. Uh, on this side we again have living cham chambers, uh, this is something most of you won't know what about. This is a place where people light candles and it's separated in two sections. 
one on which you light candles for the dead and one on which you light candles for the living. It's sort of our way of praying to God, both for the ones we've lost as for the ones we love. It's a very Romanian, very orthodox, very old tradition. Towers of the church. Normally the bell is open the towers, but at this monastery it's in the tower, close to the entrance. Yep, I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you did, please hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell.